Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm working through my ring bound journal again. And today I'm using a piece to start off with that I have made ages ago, which is this cute little thing. And I think that I'm gonna put it on this one that's got that cutout on it. And it fits pretty good actually. So I'll start by sticking it down. So this is just gonna be decorative. I'm not going to put a pocket or anything in here but I will decorate and put a pocket on the back of it. So let's just put this one down to start with. So. Hoping to get a couple more pages done today. Just um, coming back to it whenever I get time to do a couple more pages or two or three pages on it. Now as I'm putting this on, I want to make sure of a couple of things. First of all, I want to have the word contents up there. And I don't want to lose these page numbers either side because I think they make the piece. So I'm making sure when I position it, and I tested this before I did it, that these will still be there when I trim around this piece here. So, and I've got everything looks like it's in place and so now I'll just trim it up. I'm trimming this with the scissors because I know I've got to cut through that uh, curve and so with the curve I wanted to make sure that I actually get it in the correct spot and if I tear it I think the little end pieces may just tear right off. Not sure but I'm guessing that's what they're going to do. Now this page here also says contents on the back and because I like that I'm keeping this in my box of the bits where I keep things like that. So I have put that aside so I don't forget it and I'll put it into that box when I dig that, that plastic sleeve out. So I just keep things as you've probably seen either in these sorts of things or in the plastic sleeves so that I have them stacked up in my in my box and I'll show you. So I've got one that's got all those bits of sort of torn off book page edges, tops and tails in, but that's what I keep them in. These are stamp storage pieces. So I will just continue now, cut around this to get this curve and hopefully I won't rip that list of numbers. Because when I made this I remember that I purposely put it on here to get the the numbers and use the index page of the book so that I would have those numbers there you go it's fine let's trim it around here a little bit I hope you're doing something with me and remember if you are and you do want to share with me then you can email me and my email is in the description below right down the bottom I think somewhere around there but you'll find it just scroll down the description and the information that I've got below and then you'll see that now instantly because I pre-made this I've got a nice little thing nice page for the book I do need holes though before I go any further let's punch some holes in it and I think that's going to be okay in terms of where those holes are going to punch. Well, I've got no choice. I have to punch holes or it's not going in the little book, is it? Okay. It hasn't interfered with the numbers very much. I love that, all the Roman numerals that are there. I don't even know what book this came out of now. I'd have to go back and look at the video I made to see if it's even in there. So then on this side, I'm going to put something else. And because this side hasn't got a pocket, I would like to put a pocket on here so that I've got some journaling space as I'm going through and using this. I'm wondering if I can keep with the number theme. If I put that there, it can be a pocket in here, can't it? another side tuck pocket although I would have to punch through it maybe I can put it there mm, not sure 
Um, look, what I might do, I've just had another thought. I might stick another piece on here and have this as a pocket like this. That's what I'll do. And then I'll decorate the back of all that pocket so you'll have a little slip in here. I just thought of that. So let's just cut this off and mark where our holes are going to go. And of course I'll need to decorate the inside of this before I stick it down. Alright, so I need to put something just on this piece. I wonder if I'll just do some more book page, although it's already got book page on there. So I need to put my thinking cap on for this one and work out what I am going to put on there. Ah, just have a thought. Somewhere in this mess I have Tim Holtz wallpaper. There you go. And I'm sure I'll have a little piece to put in here. Look at that, perfect. Excellent, all right. This is what's going in here. Now, because I wanna make sure I actually manage to get it covered, I'll just draw around that lightly. Because this piece is not the full length. And the other thing I need to do is make sure this is up the right way. Which I think, actually I think that might be the right way, but in terms of visually pleasing, let's just put this back on. So we can either have that, or I could turn it around and have this. Hmm. I think I like that better. Yep, I'm gonna put it that way. So I'll stick this all down because this will be a pocket, so something will be sliding in and out. So I need to make sure that this doesn't catch and hamper whatever I put in here. And then this can go down. I'm going to stick it right down onto here. And on here and around, and then this piece at the top. So it's going to be still a fairly big pocket. And I'll just ink that edge up to get rid of any of the manila that's showing through there. Let's just put that straight. And then in here is a pocket, excellent. So something needs to go in here. I'll find a tag for there later. I just don't wanna stop right now. I wanna keep going and do the back. But I will find a tag and show you before I finish. So I've now got book page on that side. I need to look for something else on this side. And I'm thinking some wallpaper. I've got this beautiful wallpaper that Tim Holtz does. It's just gorgeous. So again, when you cut bits off like this, make sure you keep them. And because I keep everything in these sleeves, I'll just pop that back in there. And I find that when I put them in these sleeves, then things don't get crushed. I stand them up like this. I've got a plastic thing there with um, dividers in it that I can stand them up in and they fit quite well. And that way they don't sort of have problems with bending and not being useful when I want to use them. So some more holes. Okay. And what will we put on this one? I think I would like to put some more book page. And this time I'm gonna do something a bit different. So I'm gonna get several pieces. And I'm going to tear them to start with. So with this one, I'm going to start by putting down some layers. Let's try this for a start, if I can get that off there. So I'll start down here, I think. I don't want to go too far down the page. having trouble getting these apart. Oh, there you go. It went finely. And this is just going to be one pocket. I do want to put it down. My hole's there, so I've still got a good, say, 
two inches down the bottom. I don't want to put it up too high because I want the wallpaper to show. But I just wanted to sort of overlap it like this just for something different and then maybe just do another tear and ink. I think that's good. Getting some difference through here. So as I said this will not be a pocket all of these little bits. This is just for decoration. I just want to get them down before I move them and then I'll do the other side. All right, so that's good. And I think I'll go back to one of these tags I had before that I was playing with. I think there's two there. Oh no, there's not. See, I always think that these are two because they're really thick. But if I put something on the top of that, and then maybe, where's another bit of lace or something? Maybe I can put a bit of lace down the bottom here. It looks good doesn't it? This is a bit that I've also torn off something that I was doing that didn't work. I'm repurposing. Now what I need to do is just punch this hole through because when I put that paper down I've lost the hole for the ring. And there you go it's also it's above the lace. That was good luck not good management let me tell you. So that's good. I need something for there though, don't I? Okay, I'll have a think about what I've got to put in there. I'm going to put this in here. It's not quite, it's a bit too big. I will trim it down, just that little bit off the end. And then I'll stick it in there and it should look fine. Yep, so that was just something I had left on the table. So again, we've got a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. And I need to decide, is this the front or is this the front? Hmm. Um, I'll just go with this as the front. I'll put the template on here. Now this is smaller than the template again. So I need to make sure the sides, well I don't really, but I'm trying to get them even, the pieces here as even as I can. So that, you know, I have the top and bottom the same or at least similar. So let's punch and see what we can do with this one. Okay. This is a nice one actually. It's a Bank of France and it's talking about tax. Not that I read French, but I can pick up some of it. Um, this is a little bird. I just spotted him and I've got two of him but I'll just grab one and do something with him I think. Maybe I'll just even put him down there. He looks cute there. I wonder if I should put him on something so that I can do a little tuck spot with him. Um, possibly not. I wish I had a branch to sit him on. So he needs a branch. He's kind of clawing at nothing. Maybe I can do something like this. See, it's got that branch there. If I tear this, I don't want this big thing in there, so that's why I'm tearing around it. If I tear that and then sit him oh, up the other way, sit him on that branch like that, all right, I'm going to persevere with this because I'm quite liking the concept. What I don't like is that I don't have it on here and all behind him. But what I'm going to do to solve that problem is to, first of all, I'll ink the edges. And then I'll put this down and find another piece of botanic paper to sit behind him. And this here, I always tear that piece off the bottom and get rid of that A2. I want to put the bird here. I think that'll work. Let's just glue it down before I change my mind. Actually, I want to ink that edge now. 
before I do anything. So I've got to take it off again. <laughs> Never mind, we'll get there. Now I have a little pocket in here now and I can put my bird up on the branch. So I only need from there down. So just his feet and his wing and a little bit of his body to put that down. So he sits on this branch like that. So I'll put some more book page. I'm just switching up to one of the technical books that I've got now, just instead of using the same novel every time. Let's see, I'll put this down here and see how that looks in the light. I need to straighten it and that will be fine. Okay, just cut it off. Where's my ruler? Here. I'm just going to tear it. There you go, that's a nice background and something on here. So I have a pocket. Or maybe I'll go back to another of the paper dolls that I haven't used yet. Will the girls fit here? They will. I like that. I like this little saying. It says watching and waiting. I would like to put it down, but I don't really want to cover their feet or the numbers. Put it up here. Yeah, I'll do it there. That will be fine. So that's that page done. And it's getting quite big now, which is great. I'm really enjoying doing this. It's quite a fun project. So I think that I will stop there for today. And when I get another moment, I will come back and I'll do some more. And you can keep crafting along with me, journaling along with me. So for now, this is Deborah. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.